The Credit Union Sacktown Run is back and coming up on Sunday, April 2nd at the Capitol Mall. This annual run raises money for the Children's Miracle Network and benefits UC Davis Children's Hospital. Here to share the details about this popular event is John Tamer, chairman of the Sacktown Run and CEO of Diablo Valley Credit Union, along with Michelle Tafoya, program director of the UC Davis Children's Hospital Children's Miracle Network. Thank you for joining us this morning. That's great to be here. Yeah, we're happy to have you on. So it sounds like an event that serves a great cause and is fun to participate in. John, why don't you give us some more information and a little background on the Sacktown Run? Yeah, thanks, Desiree, for help having us on once again. Since 2012, when credit unions got involved with this, we've raised over two and a half million dollars wow. for Children's Miracle Network hospitals. This year, there's going to be over 50, 50 credit unions participating. We're going to try and raise another $200,000 for the cause. Uh, we'll have 800 to 1,000 credit union participants out there, but we need the public's help to really fill this thing up and raise money for Children's Miracle Network hospitals and have fun doing it by participating in a fun, healthy event. Yeah, that's great to hear the amount that's been raised and how we're able to continuously do so. Michelle, can you tell us a little bit more about the Children's Miracle Network and how the hospitals benefit? Sure, Children's Miracle Network is actually a nonprofit organization that runs across the U.S. and in Canada and supports local children's hospitals right in your own community. There are 170 affiliated hospitals and UC Davis Children's Hospital is really fortunate to be one of the affiliated hospitals. So money raised at the Sacktown Run actually comes back locally to support the community, which is really great for our hospital to help fund all of the much needed equipment, research, and programs for our patients. Yeah, and Michelle, can you share any examples of how the funds raised over these past 10 years have been used? Yeah, so for many of our patients who have to have long stays in our hospitals, for instance, if you have a NICU baby, which is a preemie, mm -hmm. um, we have wonderful little webcams now installed in all of our little NICU beds, so parents can actually go home take a shower, eat, get some rest, and check in on their babies. We also um, have fully funded our child life program. So we have our art therapy program, our music therapy program. And one other really great thing is the MRI goggles for our pediatric patients who come in. Back, you know, before we had the MRI goggles, we would have to give them anesthesia or help sedate them so that they would relax during the MRI. Our sedation has gone down 80% since we got these MRI goggles, and now kids can watch movies or their favorite shows while they're getting their procedures done. That's amazing, and it's so needed to go into this. What a great opportunity to show support for children in our community. John, let's get down to the details. Give us the specifics about the run itself. Right, so Sunday morning, April 2nd, starts and finishes at the Capitol Mall. The great thing is you don't even have to be a runner to participate. We have a distance for everybody. There's a one-mile miracle walk. There is a 5K, which is easily walkable. That's 3.1 miles. If you are a serious runner, there's a 10-mile option. You'll see professional runners out there competing for prize money in that race, but if you're in shape for it, you're welcome to join that one also. And it really is just about people coming together, helping get raised money for Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, raise awareness for the cause. Okay, that's awesome. You said 10 miles, I kind of said, ooh, yeah. but if you're not a professional runner, you have those other options yeah. as well. And you get to cross <laughs> the beautiful, iconic California uh, uh, Golden Bridge there, yeah. the Tower Bridge, where you um, come from West Sacramento towards the Capitol. You're running straight towards the Capitol. It's absolutely stunning finish. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a scenic route while doing something for a great cause. Why do you think this run has been so successful throughout the years? I think it's because people know that they're helping others by doing it. You're not just going for a jog, that's, that's great, you're doing something healthy, but while you're doing something healthy, you're helping others, you're actually mm -hmm. helping kids and families that are being treated at these hospitals. Yeah. All right, this question is for both of you. So now that you've got us excited and ready to participate in the Sacktown Run, how do we sign up? Very easy, you go to runsacktown.org, that's runsacktown.org. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want to run, but you still want to give to a really great cause, you can go on the same website and make a donation, and it will support your local children's hospital. All right. Thank you both for joining us this morning. Thanks, Desiree. Thank you. you bet. For more information or to sign up to participate, visit the Sacramento Running Association's website at runsra.org slash sacktown dash run. And Schools First Federal Credit Union is a proud sponsor of the Credit Union Sacktown Run. If you are a qualifying member for Schools First Federal Credit Union, you can visit one of the many branch locations as seen below on the screen.